Hey everybody on YouTube, here's a little follow up to yesterday's video about C2, my chocolate cichlid and the dilemma with the waru. He passed away this afternoon. I guess the uh, stress, lack of eating, and uh, just everything was a toll, it took a toll on him, so sad to say. They have amazing personalities, but he did pass away. And uh, I've been making some decisions about what I'm going to do here with the Waru, seeing as how I'm not going to put the male with. It looks like he's got the female. Is he's very dominant. He's very. Uh, he's just he's just got attitude. He's got way too much attitude. They are really a large, powerful fish. Uh, they're not as nasty. Oscars aren't even really that nasty. They're, they're, they're just a big fish, and because they are omnivores, and they can get little fish in their mouth, they're going to eat them. Oscars are kind of a cool fish. They're not really extremely nasty, but they are too... Uh, there's just too much to them to put them in with tetras. They will eat all these tetras, whereas the waru won't. The waru don't mess with the small black skirt tetras. They don't mess with the small akara. They don't mess with the small angels. They are really not the worst fish. I guess this one's just because he's got a female and he felt threatened by the other ones. He, uh, he went to town. So, when I change all the stock into this 1,000 gallon aquarium, I'm debating and thinking highly on just the one odd male out. Has no reason to be aggressive towards anybody. He doesn't have any reason to be territorial. He has no female. So I can put the one large one in here with all the other fish and I don't think there'll be any problem. The uh, fish keeping common sense of me says it's going to be okay. I know it recommends waru should be kept in groups, but I think, uh, boy, if you had a whole group of waru and they were all that angry about their females, it could be a, it could be quite the mosh pit. So I have a spot over here when I pick up all the stuff. Let's bring it back and let this be seen. I want to show this area. Between that closet door and the tank is 52 inches. A 75 gallon tank, which I have underneath the 540 gallon tank for a sump, and a stand which I had the other uh, Mbunas in. I still have that stand. That's 51 inches, so I have one inch buffer. So, what I'm saying is, I can put the 75 gallon tank with the one pair of waru in that tank, which is, is sufficient. One 75 gallon tank, one pair of waru, I think that would be fine. So, I think we're going to do that. I've got an X FX4 and an AquaClear 110. It's plenty of filtration. I'll just get some top sport so they don't do any crazy jumping. I've got everything that I need to give them a perfect home and if they are a breeding pair, which they seem to be acting like, who knows, maybe I'll have a whole bunch of baby waru in here. And then I can sell them on. I'm not going to start keeping waru, but uh, it might be really neat to see how they work out together as a pair. Then they won't be all crazy on all the other fish. And the one large waru, he's such a handsome fish, the one that I have. I think he'll be all right with everybody else. He has no reason to be threatened or aggressive. He'll just be doing his thing. And I'm going to have to get some more chocolates. I will raise out some more chocolates. The personality of those fish is extremely neat. They are really a cool pet. So I just wanted to update everybody on the sad time about losing C2. I really liked him. Uh, if we had a crystal ball, we would never lose a single fish because we'd know everything. You know, we do the best we can. We give them great conditions. We give them great environment. We try to make it seem as much like home as we can. 
and things still happen. I'm not trying to justify because it's sad no matter what that I lost a fish. But uh, it's unfortunately something that does happen no matter what extent we go to. It's going to happen. So that's the, that's the thought. Let's keep a pair of waru in a 75-gallon tank right there. Another fish room happening right before my eyes. Hope everybody's doing well. Have a great Friday. Later.